The former Labour advisor and husband of television presenter Kate Garraway, Derek Draper, has died at the age of 56. He'd suffered long-standing health complications after contracting coronavirus in March 2020. His wife, Kate Garraway, made a documentary on caring for him in his final years. She described the heartbreak of seeing him wake up unable to function by himself. It's very gritty, caring for someone, but it's nowhere near as hard as being Derek, waking up every morning. And I see it in his eyes. There's a period where he's kind of forgotten and then he has to inhabit that body and in, be trapped in his mind and his state that he's in. And that is just devastating. It's like watching heartbreak. Well, Sky's Rachel Venables joins me now. Um, very sad news. He shone a spotlight on the plight suffered by uh, those with uh, long COVID, and he battled a long time, Rachel. He really did. This is very sad news, of course, for Derek Draper, for Kate Garraway, his wife, their two children, and then his whole family, and everyone, of course, who knew him, because he had a, a long career, long before he came to public prominence, really, for his relationship with uh, Kate Garraway, and then, of course, uh, with her documenting in the latter years of his life this desperate battle that he suffered with coronavirus. Derek Draper really first came to prominence for his work with New Labour back in the 1990s. He was a long a political advisor, described really by many who knew him as a larger-than-life character. He worked uh, for many years for Peter Mandelson. He also set up the Progress organisation with Liam Byrne, who went on to become an MP, really a man who was very prominent in politics in that period uh, in this country. He later then travelled to the United States, where he retrained as a psychotherapist. But as we've mentioned already, he was known by many people more recently, and I think perhaps more widely, for that very public battle with the horrendous after effects of COVID documented as we saw just then by his wife, the TV presenter Kate Garraway, who suffered alongside him for so many years, watching him uh, as he uh, really struggled with the after effects of that awful disease. And she's posted on Instagram this heartbreaking uh, announcement today saying, I am sad to have to tell you that my darling husband Derek has passed away. She says, as some of you may know, he has been critically ill following a cardiac arrest in early December, which because of the damage inflicted by COVID in March 2020 led to further complications. She went on to say Derek was surrounded by his family in his final days and I was by his side, holding his hand throughout the last long hours and when he passed. And tragic, of course, news for Kate. And as I mentioned already, the couple's two children, two teenage children, Darcy and William. And as we mentioned already, Derek Draper thought to be one of the country's longest suffering COVID patients. He contracted the disease really right at the start of the pandemic back in March 2020. And he ended up spending 13 long months in hospital. For much of that first year, he was put in an induced coma by the doctors. And it was clear that even after he was awake again, even after he was able to go home, it had really ravaged his body and left him with long-standing uh, organ damage uh, across his body. And, and you saw there in that clip uh, with Kate Garraway speaking about the long-standing implications that that had left him in. And she made two documentaries uh, really detailing her life as he battled with those effects, in which she also shared and shone a spotlight really on the struggles of caring for somebody who you love who is, is so poorly. Uh, and sadly now, at the end of all of that, she has announced that her husband, Derek Draper, the former lobbyist and political advisor, has lost his life, has died at the age of 56. OK, Rachel, very sad news indeed. And as you would expect, uh, reaction coming in uh, and tributes to him, uh, deeply involved in uh, advising the Labour Party. Alistair Campbell, uh, of course, prominent new Labour figure as well, described Derek Draper as a huge character. He has tweeted, very sad to hear the news about Derek Draper. He was a huge character, a giver, not a taker, and had so much more to give before COVID took its toll. Sad above all for Kate Garraway and the children. Their love and support was profound and unshakable to the end. Uh, similarly, the Shadow Business Secretary, Jonathan Reynolds, also paid tribute. So sad to hear the news this morning. When I was a student at Manchester, Derek was still talked about around the University of Manchester. When I met him, I always found him thoughtful and kind, 
quite different to his public image at the time. Prayers for him and his family. And uh, also uh, from the television world, as you might expect, uh, given his wife, Kate Garraway, the broadcaster, Carol Vorderman has posted as well. Kate Garraway has just announced that her husband, Derek, has died, sending my thoughts and love to Kate and their family. Heartbreaking after the last years. They have lost the man they love so much. And Lorraine Kelly as well, I should say, among those who have sent messages of support to Kate Garraway um, after her announcement on Instagram. Uh, she writes, so sorry, Kate. You fought so hard, just incredibly sad, sending you love. Radio host Zoe Ball also says she is heartbroken. So much love coming your way from so many. May Derek's star always shine brightest for you.